he is so awesome. Hallelujah. He is my rabbi. He is my teacher. Hallelujah. His, his wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love never fail. But whether it be prophecy, they shall fail. Whether it be tongues, they shall cease. Whether it be knowledge, it shall vanish away. <laughs> Oh man, put your faith in Jesus. Get filled out of get hallelujah, fill out of the love of God. Let God fill your life with his love. Walk in his love. Because it will not cease. Love of God in your life will not cease. You will continue to grow, but it will not cease. Hallelujah. Pray Jesus, hallelujah. It lasts long. It has no ending. Hallelujah. It has no beginning. Love has no beginning. Love has no ending. Why? Because God is love. God has no beginning. God has no ending. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we walk in love, we go to heaven in the rapture. We come to the millennium for a thousand years. We go to eternity. We remain in the same love. All prophecy from here to the rapture will cease. We go to heaven. All prophecy in the millennium will cease. Hallelujah. All prophecy in regard to eternity will cease. Oh, but if we walk in love, we'll remain in the love of God. We'll endure it all, brothers and sisters. We have a lot to learn from God. We have a lot to learn from Him. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus said, love one another as I love you. A sacrificial love. Hallelujah. A love of pain and suffering and humility and pureness and holiness. That's the love we get from Jesus. That's the love in his own life he has shown us. Purity and love, holiness. Hallelujah. Holiness and love. That's what we see from him. Meekness and love. That's what we see from Jesus. Healing and love. Miracle and love. A helping man and love. That's what we see from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As we look at his life, as we study his life, my goodness, there's nothing more powerful than seeing the life of Jesus. Hallelujah. Then looking at his life every day, everything he did in love. He worshiped the Father in love. He rejoiced in love. He loved his disciple in love. He walked in love. He looked at them in love. He rejoiced with them in love. He preached them the gospel of God in love. He gave them the news, the good news of the gospel in love. He prophesied in love. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God for Jesus. Praise God for Jesus. Praise God for giving us Jesus. He has given us his best. He has given us his son, his only begotten son. Hallelujah. And love. For so God loved the world, he gave us his beloved son. So as whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. God began, hallelujah, salvation through love. God began a restoration to him through love. So God loved the world. He started it in love. He was giving us an example of how we are supposed to, hallelujah, obey him and keep his commandment in love. Oh, if you don't keep his commandment in love, you will fail to keep his commandment. You can only keep his commandment in love, but if you do not keep his commandment in love, you continue to break him. Hallelujah. Love covered multitude of sin, the Bible says. How do you like that? Praise the Lord. Covered multitude of sin. When you walk in love and you can love your wife, your brother, your sister, you are not looking at their mistake. You can help them because you love them. You can help them because love covered multitude of sin. You don't see their sin. Because your love, your love, the, God, the love of God through you, hallelujah, don't allow you to see any fault in them. It won't. 
a covered multitude. And the moment you law unto them, you don't see their fall. You don't see their sin because you're loving them. How are you praying for your family? Are you praying for them in love? Or are you praying for them in obligation? Oh, because if you pray for them in obligation, you don't see their salvation. But if you pray for them in love through faith, you'll see their salvation. Hallelujah. You'll see their salvation. God will relay himself to you when you love your family, when you pray in love for them. Father, that they may not perish, but have eternal life. Save them. Reach out to them. Do not let them perish in the tribulation, but stop them from getting the mark of the beast, the RFID. Father, hallelujah, reveal your mighty hand over their life and save them. And God hears your prayer of love for your family. Say, Father, I love them and I want to see them saved. God said, oh my goodness, that's what I want to hear, my son, my daughter. That is so powerful what you just said. You love them, my goodness. I so, so long I wanted to hear that, those words from you. I love them, Father, save them. Oh my goodness, you touch. You touch the heart of God. If you can love Hallelujah, your enemy. If you can love your family and pray for them in love, hallelujah, you touch first the heart of God because God is love. God will remove for you and will answer your prayer. I said, Jesus, I want to see my family get saved. Do whatever you need to do to save them, but please, please, Save them. And Jesus comes to me in my, in my dream. Hallelujah. And takes me out to show me how he's going to save each and one of my family members. He took me. And as he showed me, hallelujah, he clearly led me to understand. If you love them, you would just be in a man. Imagine God. Because you love them. And pray for them with such a love. I'm going to save them. I pray. He, he revealed that it was a faith prayer and the love together. That's why you cannot separate faith and, and love. Many people do. Don't, don't do that. Don't separate. Don't separate faith and love. Keep them together. As you pray for your family, love them. Love them. And watch what God will do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 